Hello my dear students. See, can you see where I am? Yes, I am in Atal Tinkering Lab. Yes, see this is our robotics lab. Right? This is all about the basic So this is called as a 
long rect uh, long u what we can say long u this this instrument is called as a long u can you see this is a u shape am i right so we can say a long u and why long u now see this is which shape again short uh, u am i right so we can say this is a short u and this is a long u now what will be the use of this yes it is used to prepare the base of the robot now when you are attaching this you need this am i right to Uh, or we can insert some the motors in this. So what is a motor? That we will see. So this is all. This is also used to design the robot. These two are used to design the robot. Now this long view is used for again for the to prepare if you want to design a long uh, long robot or we can say if you want to design a big robot then we have to use a long view. Or short view. If you want to design the small robot, then you have to use use the short view. Are you getting? Then this is which shape? Can you just tell me? Yes, which which is this shape? L. So we can say this is a short L and this is a long L. Again, you can see short L and long L. These both are used to design the robot. If you want to design the any kind of robot, we have to use this uh, long L and small L. Okay. This is used for the uh, gear. If you want to fit any kind of gear, then you can use this instrument. Are you getting? You you can use this two instrument. That is long L or short L according to the uh, it it will need of the particular designing of the robot. Are you getting? Yes, it is a square shape. Am I right? So we can say this is as a square plate. What we can say? Square plate. Are you getting? So this shape is square. So we can say square shape, square plate. What is the use of this? To is it is used to fit any gear or any motor for the designing the robot. For designing the robot, we use this short. Uh, we can use this. Square plate. This is called as a square plate. Okay. Now this. What is this? Which shape is this? L angle. You can say this is an L angle. It gives support for any robot. Means if you want, if uh, if particular robot, if you want to give any kind of the support for the motor or for the any gear, then we use this L angle. Now uh, this this is used to give the support. For the gear to uh, to make many gear, or we can to prepare uh, to give the support to the motor, then we use this L angle. You just understand which what are the types of the uh, instruments used to design the robot. Okay, you just keep in mind this is the L angle. Now this is one string which can be bent. Design. This is called as a flexible string. This is called as a flexible string. This is used to give the um, means if you want to prepare any kind of design, then we have to use this flexible string. This can be molded in any anyhow. We can mold this in anyhow. Are you getting? So this is called as a flexible string. So this is a mechanical part which helps to design the robot. Are you getting this? So just to recall, I just recall. You just tell me which which type of this uh, instrument we have done in today's video. There are more mechanical. Uh, there are some more mechanical uh, devices that we will now see. This is what this is a remote. This is a remote which is helps to control any kind of the robot. This is used to control the robot. Okay. This is 
is nut and this is the bolt now to give the support to give the support we have to use the spanner to fit the uh, to fit to fit this nut and bolt we use this spanner okay this is rod axle rod this are the axle rod there are the three types of the axle rod 3 inch 4 inch and 5 inch as per these are used to fit the motors to fit the uh, for the fitting of the gear we use this axle rod now the next is see this is what coupler this is the coupler which is used if you want to fit this to axle rod if you want to join this axle rod then we use this coupler we use the coupler okay to join the axle rod we use this instrument so that is called as a coupler okay see these are filler means to fill a particular gap we use this filler we use this filler then next is this is a stopper 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 means when the connection is done if you want to uh, make the tie then we use this stopper this is a hook this is a hook and this is a caster wheel this is a caster wheel wheel means you know what is what is the use of the wheel it is to move the uh, for moving we use this caster wheel so these are some mechanical part also see these are the different gears these are the different gears which are used to move the robot to move the robot are you getting and this is a right gear this is big this is small gear and this is micro gear this is right gear big big gear small gear and this is micro gear are you getting this is a motor this is a motor which is used to move the wheel it is used to move the wheel this is allen key as its shape is l it is you it is allen key it is it is used as like a screw driver to feed the to uh, feed the screw this is a brain this is a brain of the robot which is used to give the any kind of instruction whatever instructions which will be given that will be fed and like like that it can move are you getting so these are some mechanical parts which we are using and these are the connecting wires these are the these are the connecting wires so these are some mechanical parts which are used in the for designing the robot see the instruments are very small so you have to handle them carefully and also use them properly to make the designing to make to make the robot to, uh, to design the robot are you getting so once again just see which instrument i have so i will just revise the instruments which we have discussed see this is the long u this is a short u long l short l which is this plane square plane l angle flexible strip rectangular plate long rectangular plate short rectangular plate which these all are used to design the robot to prepare the base of the robot are you getting now we will move to the this these are very small instruments this is a controller that is remote this is a spanner which gives a sub, uh, to to give the support for the nut and bolt see this is nut and bolt these are the axle rod this is a coupler to to join this axle rod we use the coupler hook it is a hook then this is a brain this is a what is, these are the 
um, wire which are used for the connecting wires we can say then this is a castle rod ca castle wheel this is a castle wheel these are the filler which is used to fill the gap then this is a stopper these are the different types of gear this is a rack big small micro are you getting these are the gear this is a motor which is used to move the uh, move the wheel then this is a allen key these are the adjustable screw and these are this is a three hole uh, three hole now see this uh, it has a three holes so this is called as a three hole uh, three hole coupler to um, to adjust for adjustment of the particular screw we can use. as we have seen the robo uh, some mechanical parts now how they are used in the particular designing of the robot that we will see now see as we need as as per the requirement the students um, they have prepared the robot to prepare the base seat they have used the short rectangular plate you can see this is a short rectangular plate short rectangular plate this is a long u now if we will see this is a long u which they have prepared for the designing the robot castle wheel nut and bolt which are used then see a angle according to the adjustment according to the design they have prepared a angle this is a square plate this was used to handle means to um, if we want to pick up some instrument then we they have for the preparing they have prepared this robot the last year the task it was then this is the this is a motor this is a gear see the gear arrangement if you will see if you will see properly see the fillers these are the filler this is a stopper now what is the use of stopper now you can see to stop this it should not come out so we have to use this stopper are you getting so these are some parts see l angle why they have used the l angle to prepare this little bit do big are you getting these are the gears see small gears micro gears they have used these are the fillers if you will see then what is the use of the flexible strip see flexible strip is this is a flexible strip which is used to designing the robot so these are some instruments which are used to prepare the design now according to the task we have to prepare the we have to prepare you have to design the robot are you getting this so this this are some mechanical instruments through which these are some mechanical instrument through which we can prepare the robot or we prepare it's not a um, we can say perfect word we can say to design the robot we have to use this mechanical instrument are you getting this i hope you have understood this videos we will continue in the next video what we are going to learn we are going to learn some software how to design the robot are you getting thank you